My name is Hisham Almirat. I am from Morocco. I live in a small port town called El Jadida. And I work as advocacy director at Global Voices uh, Online. And uh, I'm a medical doctor by trade. It's difficult actually to uh, get a sense of how people perceive privacy because this is relatively new uh, and it comes with the new technology and the fact that people are more and more connected and the fact that the, their data and, 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 and their private data is, is out there and can be accessed by third parties. Uh, for most people, and my that's not scientific, that's just my own sense, uh, privacy is like dessert, you know, uh, it's the, the, the main course is human rights, freedom of expression, or basic even economic rights, right? Uh, and it's very difficult actually to convince people that oh, actually privacy is very important. We know, for example, uh, for a fact that the Moroccan government is spending a lot of money, public money, acquiring you know, state-of-the-art technology to be able to do mass surveillance online all, all the time, you know, to, to be able to intercept uh, phone calls and emails uh, of all the citizens uh, of, of the country. And um, this is, as far as I can see, is, is, a, is a very dangerous development because it, 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 it uh, threatens freedom of expression. You cannot innovate, you cannot, you know, emancipate uh, while knowing that somebody is looking over your shoulder. The revelations of uh, Edward Snowden about the work of the NSA and many other spying agencies across the world have been, you know, a real wake-up call for many uh, in our community of activists, but also within other communities of technologists, of lawmakers even. Uh, and we all of a sudden realized that uh, governments are pushing for more and more control. There is this obses obsession with trying to control information and people's communications. Um, and uh, I think that, you know, somehow thanks to those revelations, people are more and more aware of that problem. I may have nothing to hide personally. Uh, you know, so many people say their lives are basically an open book, but you have the responsibility to protect your uh, the data that you have produced yourself, you, you need to have some kind of ownership or at least a say on how that kind of information is used. That's, you know, the, your personal data, your private data. So uh, that, that, that kind of privacy is very important because I have a responsibility towards other people who may care for their personal data, who may have something to hide, not necessarily because it's wrong, but it's because it's sensitive and because it may put their, their lives in danger or their freedoms in danger. So I have the responsibility to protect my own privacy, not necessarily for my own, but for the sake of protecting the privacy of other people as well.